classmates, my name is Kim Randolph, and the country that I chose for this presentation is Italy. Please join me as we venture through the history of Italy and the Disaster Management Organization. Italy is vulnerable to many natural hazards, such as heat waves, tsunamis, landslides, volcanoes, floods, but in particular, earthquakes, which pose a major challenge for this rugged mountainous region. On the south side of Italy, two major tectonic plates meet. These plates are in constant flux, along with a series of smaller fault lines that cause major tension in this region. Italy has a long history of emergency management in regards to disasters. Italy is separated between the civil defense, which uses a top-down approach, and the civil protection system, which is more of a bottom-up approach, under the command of the Minister of the Interior, all under the national government, <clears throat> which encompasses all forces provided by the state. In 1948, the framework for disasters was set up to dispatch the army as the first responders, which was not efficient. Over the years, many changes to the laws were born. And today, Italy has created the National Service of Civil Protection with an implementation pattern of a bottom-up approach. After the Council of Ministers declares the state of emergency, the Prime Minister and the Head of Civil Protection ensures the coordination of the emergency activity is met. Tens of thousands of volunteers are the main source of Italy's emergency response plan, which are trained and well-equipped for the emergency at a moment's notice. Many lessons have been learned with the number of natural disasters that Italy has faced. For instance, in 2009, a major earthquake struck the region with significant force that left thousands of people homeless and forced into tents for nearly a year. It was clear improvements for recovery needed to be fixed and alternative housing was then a priority for future events. Risk maps are now in place showing the vulnerability of certain areas for these earthquakes in Italy and around the globe. Some major challenges pose an obstacle for disaster management activities in the aftermath of an earthquake power shortages and traveling through difficult terrain to help the victims are significant problems in Italy. In conclusion, accountability and public engagement are key factors in risk management. All things considered, Italy has a clear bottom-up approach to disaster management and consistent system of civil protection in place that meets the needs of their citizens. Thank you so much for your time. 